Hi everyone, in this video I will be showing you how to use Gemini AI API with your own CSV file without using Langchain in Python. So let's get started. First Google Gemini AI API, you will be getting the first link built with the Gemini API. Just click this and after this here you need to sign in with your Google account. Once you are done with that, just click on get API key in Google AI Studio. You will be taken to an interface like this and here you will be having an option called as file. Click this and you can literally upload any file. It need not necessarily be a CSV or a PDF file. So let me go with my CSV file. So just click on insert. Close this. You can just ask anything. So just a random prompt and if you now click on this get code, you won't be having necessary code to upload a CSV or a file. So just close this and just click on run prompt. So it will just give me a response what is the content that is present in my CSV file but if you now click on this get code you will be getting an python code but the thing is that this applies for a pdf file so don't worry we can just convert this into a CSV readable code okay that's not going to be a big deal at all so just copy this this saves us about 80% of our work and just go to visual studio code and make sure that you have your python file opened and your CSV file. So in my case, just a normal CSV file with a few data. So I'll just go here and paste the code. Okay. So here we are going to make few changes. Scroll top. First thing is we need to have our Gemini AI API key. So just remove this and for getting the API key, go to the same thing and to the left, you will be having get API key. Click this, click on OK, create API key and in case if you are using this for the first time you will be having the option enabled and in my case just select any project and just click on create API key. Copy the API key and in case if you want to delete it you can just click on this delete button. So that's totally fine and let me just go here and put the key over here and since this is a demo video I'm just hard coding it you can just have it in an environment variable and later access it. So now the main change that we need to do is in the place where we are opening our CSV file because this is a PDF opener here you can see we are having a PDF stuff so what we can do is we can just remove this piece of code okay just remove this yeah and rather than having PDF we can just have CSV alright first thing is we need to import the package which is just import CSV okay I guess this is an inbuilt python package which is csv yeah it automatically comes so import csv and apart from this we need to install this particular thing here you can see right it says pip install google generative ai we need this package so if i go to the official website of this package here you can see we need this thing so just install this particular package so this is the only thing that we need csv is inbuilt so now let's go here to this piece of code and what we are going to do is we are just going to extract the data from the CSV row wise data okay first thing we will be having a list and inside that list first row will be pushed second row will be pushed third row will be pushed so this is what we are going to do so come here and it, first thing is we need to open that particular CSV file so it's going to be with space open after that we need to specify the path name or the file name which is going to be this variable it's going to be path name and we're going to read the file so it's going to be r we're not going to write or make any modifications and comma and let's have this new line equal to empty and we need to have a name for our file so it's going to be csv file that's it and in the next line we need to have our csv reader so it's going to be csv underscore reader equal to csv which is the package we have imported dot reader and we have to pass our csv file variable which is this one paste it over here and the next line we have to have a for loop and this will basically iterate through each and every row in our csv file so it's going to be for row in csv reader this variable row will be of type 
list okay so basically it will have this particular things as comma separated form so it will be somewhat like this so just assume this okay so this is what row will return us now what we are going to do is we are just going to convert this entire list as a string so we are just going to have year space revenue space profit so it's going to be a string like this yeah this is what we are going to do and we are then going to push this inside our temporary list so we are having a list parts okay in this only we are going to push it so you can just imagine the same for all these rows so i'll just bring back to the default one yeah so just this is good i'll go here it's going to be string so let me just have a empty string for that at first yeah and it's going to be parts which is this list this list is going to contain all the data present in our csv file dot it's going to be append and as i told you we need to convert that list into a string so it's going to be str dot join and inside that we need to pass our variable row this is good just remove the space yeah this is now fine and this thing will go on until all the rows are covered so after that we'll be just running this parts so we're just basically converting the rows as string and then returning it simple that's the only thing that we do saving it now and if we just scroll down here we'll be having the model start chat so we don't need this things so i will just remove this if you want you can just have the history i don't want those and this is the place where our csv file is getting called so you can just rename this i'll just have it as extract csv go here change this to extract csv that's it and here we need to specify the path name or the file name of a csv file so in my case it's utt.csv so in case if you are having the csv file in some other folder you need to specify the full name so it's going to be utt.csv that's it so now we are good and this is the prompt that we need to have so let me just give the prompt so clear the console so let me just ask what is the total profit okay which is basically the sum of this column so I'll just ask what is the total profit saving it and let me just run this so it's going to be file name with the python keyword so python file name dot py and hit the enter so here you can see it has even given us a way how it's going to calculate it so 50 100 150 200 so if i go here profit is 200 300 500 so it has given us an answer let's go with another prompt so this time let me ask specific questions what is the profit in the year 2015 so the answer is going to be 150 so what is the profit in 2015 yeah and let me rerun it again so if you feel you are rerunning it multiple times you can just have this piece of code inside a infinite while loop and have some input variables so that you can just terminate or break it off all right so i'll just run this so the output is going to be 150 so i am getting that profit in 2015 was 150 so let me just go with the final question uh it's going to be which year had the least profit right so the answer is going to be 2000 so let's see how it gives so run this so here you can see it has given 2000 with a profit of 50 so this is spot on and that's the video guys do check the playlist of my channel done a lot of videos in gemini ai api open ai api as well as other ai tools and credit operations so many programming videos so check the playlist subscribe me thanks for watching